Jesus fucking Christ. Hello children, now that you have mastered Japanese, let's choose which dialect you will use. Okay, so you gaijins probably didn't know we had dialects, right? Well, why, you say anxiously. To answer that, we need to talk about society. You see, dialects exist for a number of reasons, and English is a great example of this. I bet that without even thinking, you and I could name about 10 English dialects. Northern, Southern, New York, New England, Canadian, Real Canadian, etc. That's because as space and time grows, languages evolve based on factors such as geography, culture, and even the people themselves. The New York dialect, for example, exists because of Dutch immigrants who kind of did their own thing, and then other immigrants, mostly Jews, Italians, and Irish, gave their own spices to the melting pot. Back to Japan, despite what it looks like, we are so incredibly diverse. There are people who are racist against others deadass like across a river. Personally, I don't even consider Okinawans to be Japanese, and I bet that there are people who despise me for being a city dweller. Anyways, back to dialects. Most cities or prefectures have their own unique dialect, some of which are incomprehensible to others, and that's what I'm going to explore today. Kyotsuben is the Japanese you would see on here, on Duolingo, in Japan. It's the vanilla dialect. What to say about it other than it's universal. Sometimes you will see this instead, Hyojunben. It just means standard dialect versus Kyotsuben, the universal dialect. Same shit, different day. Osaka Ben more or less resembles Kyotsu Ben, but there are a few aspects about it that would turn heads. In my mind, Osakans or raccoons that one day transformed into a Japanese. I bet it has something to do with the books I've read. Here are some examples of differences, right? Honto, Honma, Dame, Akan, Domo, or Arigato, Azansu, Omoshiroi, Omoroi, Mondai Nai, Kamahe. And those are the ones I hear the most from Osakans. There's millions of differences. Osakans also do this thing where if they're explaining something, they end their sentences with su or yang, and sometimes even both. And when they are really confident in what they're saying, they say ya or neng, and sometimes even both. Okay, now you try speaking Osakan. Omoroi su. Kamahen ya. Akang ya neng. Honma yang. Ibaraki Ben on paper is almost identical to universal Japanese, except that rather than being word differences, it's intonation and local slang that scratches heads. According to the two Ibarakians I know, their tongue is drier than katsuobashi. While regular Japanese people pronounce say candy and rain, ame and ame, there's no difference to Ibarakians, they just pronounce it the same. Niji, niji, kaki, kaki. So if you're struggling pronouncing words that are spelled the same, just say, no, no, it's okay, my teacher's from Ibaraki. Another thing is that, similar to how older people don't understand Gen Z slang, regular people find it difficult to decipher Ibaraki in slang. What do you think this means? Wrong, it actually means shouganai daro. How about this one, ijiyakeru? It means to be pissed. Last one, what do you think this means? Oh, it actually means to be absolutely terrible. I just realized that all the examples I listed are negative as hell, but trust me, they are good people. Most of the time. Okinawa Ben is like how a foreigner would speak Japanese after skimming through the textbook, which makes sense considering that Okinawa is like the last place that was fully integrated into Japan. All Okinawan really is just word differences. Konnichiwa. Hai sai. Hai tai. Hajimemashite. Hajimiti asai. Irashaimase. Mensore, sayonara, gubri sabira. Also, one thing I found really funny is that Okinawans will say shone after a verb like ikimashone, even if they're only referring to oneself. So, an Okinawan who says kairimashone would just leave by themselves. Tsugarubeng is virtually impossible to decode. It's the equivalent of an English speaker trying to understand a dead language. If you watched the Aomori short I made, you probably understand the sheer incomprehension this dialect has on the average speaker. Let me make a story for you real quick. Odo, waisadene, en kanegeru. Made, obo koen tsuko nabashiraku. Ranki tagaru. Ro. And for a bonus dialect, wakamono ben. 
This one isn't officially a dialect. It's just that young and hip people like me sometimes sprinkle English words into our sentences because it's rad and swag. Yo, Satoji Michael, baby, kono lyrics ga kokoro o mori ageru ze. Hey, baby, konshi no date tanushimi da ze. Check it out, joy ga joy. Anyways, that's more or less all the major Japanese dialects. I hope it goes without saying, but it's more complicated than that. Also, part two is inevitable. Please don't choose to speak a dialect because it sounds dope, because that's kind of cringe. As a wise Japanese man would say, just go with the flow. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys again perhaps tomorrow as a short, I don't know. <laughs> If there's any thought, better think of me for a little support. At a time of need, I'll be a no. Not a chance. Yo.